Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to unbox the Turtle Wax Headlight Lens Restorer and we're going to see what's inside and we're going to try it and see if it actually works like this. So let's open up the box and in here we're going to see there is a bottle of spray lubricant. Okay. And then there is another bottle here called Lens Clarifying Compound. So two bottles. Then the pads right here, two sandpaper pads. It's like sandpaper. So it said Turtle Wax Headlight Lens Restore Kits includes precision polishing pads. So this is the polishing pads right here. And there should be one more. So we got the lens base coat wipe and then lens sealing wipe. There's only one pack. So I guess um, with this sealing, uh, after you have used these two bottles, then this is the sealing. So um, after this, then uh, if you have leftover, you can't actually use it anymore because there's no lens sealing wipes uh, after that. So this is kind of like um, a UV seal so that once you seal up the lens it won't get damaged from the UV light or the, from the sunlight. Okay so that is everything inside the box. You've got the spray lubricant, lens clarifying compound, polishing pads. Let's see what the polishing pads uh, look like. Just gonna open it up. So there's two different pads right here. This one is a rough one and this one is a smoother one. So I guess we're gonna use this one to swap it, uh, swap off uh, the dirt and stuff uh, on the lens. And then you got the lens base coat wipe and the lens sealing wipe. There's no user instruction inside the box. So we have to go with the directions at the box at the back of the box right here. So where can you get it? You can get it from online stores like Amazon.com. Uh, uh, you can purchase this for around eleven dollars. If you are in Amazon Australia, for example, it will cost you thirty-five dollars. Okay, so I'm going to follow the instruction here, and we try to fix this one. This one here is quite uh, heavily oxidized, so you can see it's not shiny anymore. So we see if that's going to fix the problem. Now, before you start, you should cover this area. So use the masking tape to tape off the area where it has paint. You don't want to damage your car paint, so you want to mask and use the masking tape to tape it up. Uh, I'm going to leave it like that. I will try to be careful not to touch the paint. Next, we're going to need to use, uh, to use water and clean the lens. So I'm going to clean it with a microfiber cloth. So I've got a bucket of water right here. This will clean and remove any dirt or stains or bird poops that's sticking to the lens. So give it a good thorough clean. Okay, you want to work on one headlight at a time. Once you are finished with this one, you move on to the next one and start cleaning on the other one. Okay, now we can move to step number two. It says that apply lens clarifying compound to a cotton cloth and rub over entire lens using firm pressure then buff with a clean terry cloth we stay only one lens at a time if the lens turn clear proceed to step number three below okay you need to open up the cap for this um, lens clarifying compound and you need to remove the cover sorry if you can't see i just move this way so we need to remove this cover right here and I'm going to apply it to a cloth right here. 
which I'm just going to put that and apply onto the, the lens. You can see that if you don't use masking tape, it will go into the paint. Okay, then I'm going to buff it with a carry cloth. Okay, so not much success with step number two. There's still quite a bit of oxidization around the lens. So we need to proceed to step number three. So we don't proceed to step number three. We need to go down to step 2A. So we need to continue on. Okay, the next step is to apply spray lubricant to the green polishing pad and directly to lens. Use pads on the toes areas requiring restoration. Begin rubbing pad number one using firm pressure in the back and forth motion over the lens until much of the oxidization is removed. Use the spray lubricant as necessary to keep the lens and pad wet. Flip to the tan side of the polishing pad number two, rub back and forth in the opposite direction 90 degrees of the green pad for one minute. Keep the pad and lens a surface wet using the spray lubricant. Okay, so I'm going to follow that. So this is the spray lubricant. So we're going to use this um, green side of the pad first. Okay, so I'm going to open up and then we're going to spray into the pad and spray it onto the lens and then we're going to rub back and forth. Now we're going to use this one, the third pad, pad number three. It's got a number on here. If you look at the pad, there is number, number three, and then number four. So you can follow right here. I'm not sure if you can actually see it, but there is a number on the pad, so you just follow it. So follow pad number three. The next after number two, we use pad number three. 
there's quite a, there's quite a lot in the one bottle so you just uh, spray them as much as necessary and then we're going to wrap with pack number three in the opposite directions Now number four, we we'll apply to pad number four, and again we we'll go in opposite direction. Okay, once we have dried the lens clear, we're going to apply this lens clarifying compound again. Leave it on, allow it to dry. Okay, now while it is, it has improved quite a lot. There's still quite a lot of uh, oxidization. So now in the instruction. It doesn't tell you to repeat the, pro the process but because after doing all that there's still some oxidization so I'm going to repeat the process again and hopefully the second time it will be a lot better okay so once we have cleaner the lens so the last step is to step number three is to open pouch containing the lens based coat wipe using the plastic glove included in the kit quickly coat both lenses with the wipe once dry, immediately follow the with the lens sealing wipe, which helps prevent future yellowing. And it said that coating will occur within 24 hours. However, vehicle can be driven immediately after the applications. So I'm going to use this lens based coat wipe first, and after that we can use the lens sealing wipe. Okay, so I'm going to put on my glove. And this pack right here. 
and now we have to do this quickly. I'm going to give it a wipe. I'm going to quickly go to the other side and do it on the other legs as well. We can do it before these things um, uh, dry out. Okay, so once that is finally dry, we can apply this lens sealing wipe. Okay, once it has dry, we're going to use this sealing wipe to seal it off. Okay guys, so the final result looks quite impressive uh, given the fact that this lens looks um, totally, the lens cover looks totally damaged like it's so oxidized that I wouldn't think you can actually restore it to this state so I'm quite happy um, the way it looks it's not 100% perfect, I would say it's maybe it's back to 80, 90%, 80% I would say it uh, but looks pretty good uh, as you can see for yourself right here and that's it so uh, we have uh, unboxing this uh, Turtle Wax Headlight Lens uh, Restorer and it does take some time so you need to be patient it's not going to be quick but the end result is uh, quite nice thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos